Hi guys, Kath from Edible Backyard here. Today I'm going to be talking about herbs, some of the medicinal herbs that I'm growing in my garden. I use loads of them, they're really great for landscaping because you get year round flowers with a lot of them and they're super easy care as well as having all the benefits of some medicine in your backyard. So today we're going to start with some echinacea. So here it is, Echinacea. Isn't she gorgeous? Um, it's a beautiful prairie daisy, so she's a really easy care herb to grow, um, but really full of a lot of medicinal benefits. You've probably already heard of Echinacea, in fact, you've probably already used it for when you've got a cold, it's a bit of an immune stimulant. It's probably the only medicinal herb I really um, use properly. I make my own tincture every year with it, um, which is just the roots soaked in some vodka and um, and it keeps us all well through the winter. Also a really great plant for the beneficial insects, um, the hoverflies and the parasitic wasps and the bees which you really want working in your garden and how do you get them working? You feed them and these are the plants that do that job for you. Also great if you are picking a bunch of flowers to cheer an unwell friend up. So on to the next! So this here, growing in my pathway, is Arnica. It's a very humble uh, looking plant and in fact it's just about to flower. These will be some very simple looking yellow flowers and you all have heard of Arnica. It's what we use for achy mussels. I've never actually made Arnica cream before, probably a bit too busy growing my carrots and onions. Um, but you can easily turn it into some cream to rub your aches away. Really useful landscaping as a ground cover plant. These low plants um, in the bottom are great for um, to, to prevent weeds and instead you've got a beautiful plant growing. So, our next herb. So here we have catmint, another really humble plant but it's a wonderful ground cover just like the arnica and it flowers nearly all year round feeding the beneficial insects. You can use it to help with sleeplessness, just pick some flowers and brew them in a pot of tea, pot of hot water and make a cup of tea with it. Other than that it smells really great and looks pretty too. Last but not least is the gorgeous meadow sweet. I adore this plant. It's just coming into flower now so it's not quite there yet. And when all of these blooms are out, they're all fluffy, they'll be covered in bees and parasitic wasps. It's a wild plant, it grows wild in the ditches of Europe everywhere, so if you want to grow meadow sweet, you need a bit of a wet spot. I've planted it here under the roof of the composting toilet, so it gets the water off the roof when it rains. Um, I don't use it medicinally, it contains silicic acid, so that's what um, aspirin is made of. Um, I enjoy it for it's, um, it's a companion and it's beneficial insects and what a load of biomass. Look at all the potential compost and mulch in this plant when it finishes. So I hope you've been inspired to grow some herbs today. Happy gardening. <laughs>